Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to show you all how radio buttons work in JavaFX, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now the idea behind radio buttons is that we can only select one radio button from any one group. Let's say that I'm going to buy you lunch because I'm a nice guy, and you have to pick only one item from the menu, so we'll create a group of radio buttons to represent a sort of menu. We'll just create three radio buttons just to keep things simple. For the first item on our menu, let's say we have pizza. I'm going to change the text to pizza, and I'll increase the font size too, just so that we can read it. Okay, so that's our first radio button. We need to add all of our radio buttons to the same group. So for the toggle group, let's say food, because we're creating radio buttons based on food. And if you want, you can have this be selected by default just by clicking this checkbox but I will keep it empty for now. Now I'm going to give this radio button a unique ID. Let's say R button one. Then on action is the method that will be called when we select this radio button. We still need to define it, but let's say we'll have a method named get food. Okay, so that is it for our first radio button. I'm going to copy and paste it and create our second radio button. For our second item on our menu, let's say we have sushi. Make sure that the toggle group is set to food. We want all of these radio buttons to be within the same toggle group. Then underneath ID, let's set this to R button two and make sure on action is set to get food. Okay, let's create our last radio button. How about ramen? And let's change the ID to R button three on action is set to get food which we'll define later and this should be in the same toggle group of food okay well we have our radio buttons what do we want to do exactly with them let's say that we would like to change the text of a label when we select one of these radio buttons so i'm going to create a label drag and drop it i'll place it near the center and for the text let's say select an item or better yet, select what you want to eat. Okay, I'm going to center this. Increase the font size. And eh, maybe 36. Okay, then center it. And I'm going to give this label a unique ID. My label. Okay, let's make sure that our controller class is linked. And I'm going to save, and let's head to our controller class. Okay, now I'm going to head to my controller class, and we will inject our FXML document for each of these different IDs that we have. So we have a label, private label, my label. And we also have all of those radio buttons at FXML, private, radio, button, r, button, one, comma, r, button, two, and r, button, three. Okay, we need to declare that method of get food. So public void get food. And the one parameter is action event event. So whenever we select one of those radio buttons, it's going to call this method here. But we're not sure which button was selected exactly, so we can check that using a series of if statements, if else. So let's say if radio button one dot is selected, then let's change our label. So my label dot set text we could say just the word pizza, otherwise we can get the text from the radio button too. That's another option. So if we take that route, it would be r button one dot get text. Okay, let's write an else if statement. Else if r button two is selected, then we will take my label and set the text equal to r button two dot get text 
And then here we can use else or else if. Doesn't matter, I suppose. If our button three is selected, we will change the text of my label to our button three dot get text. And that should be everything. Let's run this. Okay, select what you want to eat. I would like pizza. Actually, I changed my mind. I want sushi. Uh, but ramen's pretty good too. I'll select ramen. So that's kind of the idea behind radio buttons. We can only select one radio button from any one group. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. But yeah, those are how radio buttons work in JavaFX.